Welcome to The Style Chronicles. Today is my third installment of my summer short series. I'm sharing with you today a pair of brightly colored shorts. So I feel like aside from your neutral kind of white black khaki shorts um, along with your denim shorts, I feel like a good pop of color is necessary for the summer. So mine are a lemony, yellowy, lime kind of shade, um, but I feel like you could easily do this with a pair of bright blue or cobalt colored shorts, um, some maybe kelly green like grass colored uh, shorts or orange, red, pink, anything that is just a really pretty pop of color for the summer I think is appropriate. And then that as well as a white top of um, any kind really, I think a good um, poplin like short sleeve collared popover is a great summer staple. Um, it can go from dressy to casual at any point, but I also feel like having an alternative to such a starch kind of dressier styled shirt, something um, like this, which is off the shoulder, it's more on trend, it's got that eyelet lace, so it gives it a little bit of texture. Um, I feel like having an alternative to a classic white blouse in another kind of classic cut and style um, is also essential. So this is the off the shoulder eyelet white blouse um, that I'm wearing is what I'm talking about. Okay, so as you can see, these shorts are a lemony yellow and they are very pretty. They are from Old Navy and I wear a size two in Old Navy shorts. They have kind of a longer inseam. I think these are three and a half inches, so 3.5 inches um, on the inseam, but these are the pixie cut shorts, which are really nicely done. They um, are not as relaxed as like their normal shorts. They're a little bit more structured. They have belt loops. They have, you know, nicely placed pockets in the front as well as the back. Um, and like I said, the length is a little different. The fabric is more of a soft kind of satiny fabric um, in comparison to the cotton shorts, which are, like I said, more casual. So I like those a lot. My shirt, my blouse is from Target. It's the Mossimo brand. And it's just white eyelet lace, which I am really, really liking. Um, and you can wear it a little, sometimes, you know, People who don't really like off the shoulder tops um, ask, you know, is there any other way to wear that? So you could wear it up here um, a little higher on your shoulders if you wanted to comfortably um, and not, you know, have to worry about very much in terms of playing with it or messing with it. I do tend to pull down and with these off the shoulder tops, you're always going to be adjusting. It's just a fact of life. Every time I go from in the car into a building, I'm pulling down and adjusting my um, straps on the sides of my shoulders. When I sit down to get up, you know, from a couch or a chair when we're eating or something, the same thing. It's just constant. There is no like easy, no fussy. You have to fuss with it. You have to pull it down all day long. That's just part of the off the shoulder thing. Um, even though that is by LB Icon Fashions, and I'll show you. And she is an awesome Houston based designer. She designs these and makes them herself using African, beautiful African printed fabrics. This is just one of the ones that I am in love with. Um, I liked it for the bright yellow with the fuchsia. And I get a lot of questions as to how you would wear this. And this is exactly how I would wear that. Um, or with all black or just all denim. I think it looks fabulous. Um, so I hope to incorporate two or three more of her prints. There's an African queen one that I am in love with, which is like the head of an African queen on an orange kind of print. It's black. It's beautiful, beautiful. 
So I love this very, very much. And like I said, her name is LB Icon Fashions, and I'll link her Etsy down below because she's just an awesome Houston-based designer, like I said, that I absolutely love. And I did purchase this on my own, so I'm not... Anyway, you get them nice and buckled. Um, so here they are. These are the Steve Madden, what are they called? Jalen wedges. This is seven. Seven and a half is my size. The Jalen wedge, they're satin, satin. They are suede here in the foot, and then they have a nice little wrap around your ankle. Um, they're very, very nice. I like the fact that they don't show makeup today. Too I do have on Max brown script, saddle, and Swiss chocolate in the outer corner, as well as all that glitters on my lid for just a little bit of a sparkle, not too much, just a little shimmer. Um, and then, those are all by MAC. I used my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, which I love. Makes the perfect kind of black wing right here for me. I just love, I love the simplicity of using this eyeliner. It's just easy, I love it. Um, and then next up is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. I love the wand on this mascara. It is perfect. I just love how it gets in and gets like everything. So I really, really do like that very, very much. Next would be my cheeks. I have on Max Pink Swoon Blush, which is a real pretty pop of pink. And I did that because the lipstick I am wearing, the NYX Whipped Pink Cloud Lip and Cheek Color, which is really pretty. It reminds me of the Yves Saint Laurent Lip Oils because of the applicator. And it goes on so nice and creamy and just pretty. It is buttery, so it's not like a lip gloss. It's more like a butter gloss, which if you know NYX Butter Glosses, you'll love this one. It's fabulous. Um, and then... I have the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana on my cheekbones as my highlight. I love it. I feel like it just adds a little bit of highlight without being too shimmery. So it brings that forward without being like in your face glitter um, or sparkle. So like that. And lastly, early spring, I started to see a lot of eyebrows that were kind of brushed up, um, carefree kind of, real pretty, very youthful, bushy. So I stopped trimming my eyebrows, I used to brush them up and then trim across any of the hairs that were really long that would pop up. Stopped doing that and now I just kind of pluck under here. I brush everything else. I brush everything else upward and then with my brow gel, this is the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. It's clear eyebrow, water resistant eyebrow gel. I just brush up and then whatever flicks up, I leave, and I feel like it makes my eyebrows look so bushy and full and pretty. Very youthful, um, and I like it. So I've been doing that a lot lately. But that is what I have on my face. Okay, so that is my outfit for my third installment of my short series. I hope you enjoyed that. I do hope to touch on some printed shorts, um, as well as I haven't decided what my last kind of pairing will be. I might do some mix and match, like pattern mixing, um, and just kind of back away from the florals because my floral is my next, floral is my next um, outfit, tomorrow's outfit. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and for all your support. And my, um, there will be five videos in this series. The very last one, which will be the sixth one, will be kind of the, it'll round it all out, um, show you the essential pieces that I feel like are necessary for a shorts wardrobe, at least for me. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later.